If you follow my Instagram at you know the bow, you might have seen a story where I was asking for a recommendation for a sub 2 liter sling bag. If you have seen my review of the Air Day sling that you can see in the info tab above, you might have seen that I didn't like bigger sling bags because due to the weight and gravity, they kind of tend to slide underneath my armpit. So I was looking for a smaller sling bag just to carry around my essentials like phone, wallet, keys, maybe some fresh dog pool bags, just the essentials to keep my pockets empty. And during my search, um, I kind of remembered that I still have this Rich Bake sling bag that actually was given to me by Roy. Roy is the one who invited me to Indonesia to do the How Bags Are Being Made documentary. You can see those videos also in the info tab above. And yeah, he gave me this sling bag and I honestly, this is hitting a lot of check boxes for a sling bag that I'm looking for. However, I always think you can kind of upgrade a sling bag or a bag overall and there are a couple of videos on my channel first one is the s spiner video and how to customize your zipper pulls also those videos you can find either in the info tab above or in the description below those mods i will now do on this sling bag so if you have a sling bag at home and you kind of feel like oh i want to make it a little bit more up to date. I want to upgrade it. I want to upcycle it. I don't just want to throw it away. Maybe give it some, yeah, cosmetic and feature upgrades. Then this video might be for you. So the first thing I will do is to add heat shrink tubing to the one zipper pull. Then I will add a S binder to one of the attachment points of this sling bag. Plus I will also attach a colored zipper pull to an existing zipper inside the sling bag. So the first thing that we will do is to attach heat shrink tubing to the existing paracord of the zipper. What you will need to do is obviously to open up the knot, then put the heat shrink tubing on top of it and then re-knot the paracord so you won't lose the tubing. Then you will need a heat gun. I think you can do it with a um, hairdryer as well, but the heat gun will be much more effective. Apply heat to the heat shrink tubing and the tube will shrink down and grab onto the paracord. With that, you have a little bit more stiffness to the zipper pull, which makes it much more easier to pull the zipper. And I definitely like to add some color so I can more easily see the zipper pull in the darkness. And yeah, I like high visible heat shrinking tube. In the future, I probably will buy some neon ones. So neon green, pink or neon orange to make visibility even better. So now that we have attached the heat shrinking tube to the zipper pull, I will now attach a S spiner to an attachment point of the bag. I love S spiners because if you attach a key to the S spiner or to a regular carabiner, if you detach the key from the carabiner, there is the possibility that you accidentally open up the carabiner and then detach it from the attachment point. With the S spiner, you can be assured that you only detach the keys and not the whole carabiner from the bag. I love to use lockable S binders for all my keys and with this S binder this is not lockable and I still had this lying around here at home. So what I will do is to attach heat shrinking tube to the one side as well to make sure that this carabiner won't open up accidentally. And I like to do this on all my sling bags because whenever I'm walking around and I just want to quickly attach my car keys or my motorcycle keys to my bag because I'm just going into a supermarket or whatever then I can quickly just attach the key to the S spiner and not having to drop it inside the bag itself. The next thing that I would like to do is there is another zipper inside that doesn't need any modification but just for a good measure I will attach these colored zipper poles to the zipper itself. I could use a plier to 
detach the metal zipper pull and then just attach the colored zipper. But because I found it to be a little bit short, the zipper overall, I attached the colored zipper pull to the metal zipper pull to make it overall a little bit longer and easier to grab. And since we have this bag open, I will give you a short overview of what I have inside this sling bag. First and foremost, in this zippered pocket, I have my extra slim wallet. Then I have some tissues and some eye drops because I wear contact lenses, chapstick. Then in this main compartment i like to just store my phone in this little mesh compartment there i put my keys so they don't scratch up my phone and then there is another hidden pocket in the back which has a soft inner lining and usually is for glasses but i don't like to store my glasses inside any bag because i feel they could get crushed instead i use that pocket for a face mask and keep it separated from all of the other items inside the sling bag to keep it as clean Clean as possible. So that was this short and in my humble opinion easy way to modify your sling bag or any bag for that matter. If you want detailed instructions on how to modify your zipper pulls you can see the video in the info tab or the description below. Also the video about the S button and there's a more detailed video in the description also. And yeah. This is how I modified this Rich Bake sling bag. If you have any more questions, comment below. But also, if you have your own modifications, how you like to customize your bags or sling bag, let all of us know in the comment section below. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos. Also, check out my Instagram at you know the bow. And yeah, I see you in the next videos. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Thank you very much.